Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Muckle Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, which we are playing as New Vegas. Let's begin with a national focus, with Judgment Day. In 2065, House predicted that a nuclear exchange between the U.S. and China would take place within the next 15 years, and decided to pull all of his resources into protecting his home city of Las Vegas. He had his own hotel, the Lucky 38 Casino, fitted with radio jamming systems, missile raids, and a laser defense network, and life support systems. So, with this campaign, we're using four mods, Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, the State Chester Tool Mod, as well as Player of the Peace Conferences. If you'd like to read about the caps in the 3.0 update, please go right ahead. But the Great War. There's only ever one constant in Vegas, and it was change. I was almost fully prepared to prevent the apocalypse from touching my desert jewel, but without the platinum chip, I couldn't stop every missile. I prioritized protecting the suburbs in the few sec seconds I had to spare, or my laser defenses targeted missiles headed for the military industry. Well, with the route we're gonna go, I think it makes more sense if we protect the suburbs over the military industry. Just saying, but we have incomplete OS. Following the valley defense of New Vegas, House was thrown into a violent coma and the majority of his data ro and robots found themselves corrupted and inoperable for the following decades. Silent protectors incapable of movement or thought. When House returned to consciousness, he had a choice to make. Did he dare attempt to salvage his more advanced OS or did he fall back on a more stable version? Not version. 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 We have this national spirit, Jewel of Mojave. Beautiful, beautiful national spirit, but an unstable system. Uh, in addition, we have the Treaty of New Vegas here. And... Robotics genius. Without the platinum chip, I couldn't upgrade my secure trons or my defenses. Numerous power cuts, rampant data corruption, and a coma were the result of my failure. I was faced with a painful choice, reusing an older and very stable version of my pre-war OS, or attempting to salvage and use an incomplete operating system, which was designed to be more capable of addressing wasteland threats. I reinstalled a much older and stable version of my OS, or I took a risk and attempted to salvage parts of, my, of the incomplete OS. Ooh... Let's try. The, let's try the uh, this one, the incomplete o OS. Because I think last time when I played as New Vegas, I did stable OS. But three families. House hopes to rebuild the world, and to do so, he has to start by rebuilding his beloved Vegas. He begins with three great casinos that once rivaled his own Lucky 38, going out to find groups suitable for such establishments. Those who can be easily controlled and bring Vegas to the moxie it's going to need in the future. Additionally, I want to let you know, we do not have historical focuses on. We have so. It's a historical for this campaign. And we'll see what happens. In addition, I've got another surprise for you, but selecting the pawns. Before the war, Las Vegas was a city of dreams where fortunes were made and won and lost in an instant. To recapture that feeling and reap the profits to draw a crowd from across the wasteland with bright neon lights, I need to reopen the casinos and they needed families to run them. Vegas shall become the shining jewel of humanity's future. Let's hope so. Additionally, we have New Vegas. The process of rebuilding Vegas didn't happen quickly. And between spending money hunting for its precious platinum chip and micromanaging the families of the Strip, House has found himself more than occupied. Despite this, he did find time and money to invest in Vegas itself, reopening Gamora. My first priority in my quest to rebuild Vegas was to wrest control of the city back from the drugs that squatted in it for centuries. The outskirts could wait. The immediate er, area surrounding the Lucky 38, the coveted Las Vegas Strip, was fiercely contested by two tribes, both Slither, Kin, and the Great Khans had a focus on drugs, and the sheer business made them competitors and enemies. It was clear to me that I'd have to choose one group over the other if I desired to unite the rest and claim the city for myself. Initial propositions to both groups came up lukewarm, and with prideful Great Khans rejecting me outright, and Slither, Kin, dubious to my intentions. Then... The fiercest fighting between them began, and I saw my opportunity, no doubt. The tribe of my choosing would see reason after my secure drones ejected the other from Vegas permanently. I desired a criminal element within Vegas, to grease palms and run my black market smoothly and properly, like the Mafia used to do before the Adam. However, even if I save the Great Cons, I was splitting them into two, thanks to their stubborn Papa Khan. And as for Slow the Kin, while they might have seemed more agreeable than the Great Cons, they were all that much more slippery. The envious eyes said it all. Ultimately, I made my choice. It was incredibly dangerous, and that's why I liked them. So, we get the Omertas. Or consequences be doomed, I would have my conate. Ooh, gains the false conate. Wow. Reopening ultra luck. So, okay, I'll be honest here. Like, I don't exactly remember which route people want me to go down. So, if there's enough support, I'll go down whatever route people want me to. I might just replay this, you know, just off screen because it's pretty quick to do replay things off screen. Usually, so the white gloves aside. Oh no, we want Gamora, right? We love Gamora. The Omeltas. I think I remember, did I choose them last time? I can't remember, man. I really cannot remember if I traded these, did these guys last time. Just five World Goals times goes down by quite a bunch. Holy cow. Burying the hatchet, reaching out to the cons, a mobster army. 
Uh, you know what? I think I'll, I'll go with the Omeritas for this one, maybe. Yeah, let's go with this one. Recruitable population factor goes down by 10%. That's, that sounds like something I would not choose, so let's choose that one. And we'll probably get the tops and the Lux 38. Here we go. After dealing with the largest confrontation Vegas had seen in decades, I wield my newfound influence to great effect. Following my display of power, many disenfranchised groups approached me for sort for support, while others made their known their opposition to my actions. For better or for worse, I was making a name for myself in the Mojave. Of all the groups that became known to me, two piqued my interest at the time, the Fiends, and a group of whose name is better left unsaid. The former of the two were vicious raiders, drug addicts, and utter savages. Their leader, Motor Runner, had a kind of criminal intelligence about him and had reigned supreme in Vegas' ruined southern portions for years. However, despite their reputation for violence, the latter group was just as abhorrent, if not more so. Cannibals, that's what they were. Devourers of the human body's forbidden fruits. Oom. Mm. They squatted in Vegas' peak of refinement, the Ultra Lux, and hid it from the Mojave at large. I had a clear choice. Either I beat the cannibalism out of my neighbors, or had the fiends show them how delectable their own innards were. The choice was simple. In the White Glove Society, we get Majori. Kind of like Majori. The Consiglieres. Uh, it's not bad. Not bad. Skulls and suits. Killer c Cologne. Wealthy contacts. The human banquet. Abandoned cannibalism. I'll be honest. I don't know what you want to choose here. Uh, I think I might have done this one before just because it has faster justified world goals times on us, maybe? I really don't remember which one I should. I did last time. I think I probably did the White Glove Society just because it gives you more political power, which I like more. Wealthy contracts looks okay. And stuff seems okay. So I want to maybe do the Consiglieres. So I'll let the fiends paint the town red. The fiends have accepted our offer. Let's start moving them into the strip. That should be known as this group's. Oh, we just. Okay, we just straight up annexed them. I, okay, to be honest with you, I was planning on just you know, going to war them anyways, but. We get a Corn Ball 3. We get Consigs, which grants less stability, more division, and. Attack and defense on core territory. Justify World Goal Times. Okay. Alright then. Not bad. Reopening the tops after cleaning up the Ultra Lux for better or for worse. I had one final casino to staff the tops. In its prime, the top was the place for the respectable middle class working man. It didn't offer carnal pleasures like its neighbor Gamora. Oh. Nor were drinks as expensive as cigars like in the Ultra Lux. Cha ching. It was a place where the stakes were low, the drinks were hard, and the stage was popular with class acts. My Vegas needed that, a place for common people. And to recreate that feeling of comfort, I need a classic, classic crew. Thankfully, Vegas had no shortage of suave individuals looking to shortchange their fellow man. Two groups stuck out to me like amongst the rest, the boot r r riders and the kings. The former were a tribe of nomads who at first glance had nothing to do with the pompadour and the big band. However, an upstart among the ranks Benny was looking to shake things up and modernize a group. On the other hand, although rambunctious and rowdy, the kings were already everything I needed, and more. Their stubborn leader might have refused to bow his head once, but perhaps my offer wasn't good enough. It was time for Swing to make a comeback. Electro Swing? Despite being a snake, Benny's intelligence proved irresistible. Oh. Or the King's Ooze Old World Style. The choice was simple. We lose political power, which is something I would definitely not want to take. But, well, with the way we're going to go down in this here campaign, and seeing as the King's uh, route is the only route I've yet to play as at the time it's recording, probably for New Vegas, we're going to king it up very nice oh we have 2400 manpower now nice expansion inward or outward my new Vegas is slowly coming together despite my early awakening but decisions remained I could either focus my attention on creating a rich inner Vegas and a poor free side or I could attempt to include all of Vegas in my grand vision inner Vegas to make the most profit improving outer Vegas this is probably something I choose more often so let's choose improve outer Vegas and we're gonna go straight with New management. Robert House is a relic of the past, a fool who doesn't understand the wasteland or the lives of people within it. It'll take ambitious minds to bring New Vegas under new management, but thankfully there are no such shortage of minds in the city of S -S 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 -N. So yeah, uh, I've yet to try out the King's Route, and this is our divisions. We've got two heavy robot divisions, security ships one and two, and they're okay. They're not great. They already have logistics, so that's pretty good. And we have a protection division, which is ten combo width, and it's all right. It's not great. So we have this here, we're trying to make more robots, obviously, and good lord, we're going to need more energy cells. What we're trying to build is more uh, civilian factories for now. Research-wise, we have some research going on, and we have okay tech levels. They're, they're okay, uh, even though we are technically advanced, so. Anything here? Oh, look at this. Robco Industries, nice. We got Robco Industries already done. There goes Olympus Tribe, goodbye Olympus Tribe. Very, very nice. Currently have 1.37 political power every day. Not bad. Anything else here? Disable backstory decisions. Don't mind if we do. And of course, New Vegas is a nice little place where we can make a little bit of money. However, I think in time, we're probably going to have to go to war with the little Connate to our east. 
Oh, bit of springs. You're going to get terminated eventually. New commander. Let's say have our political power. What do we have around here? Let's see. Militia leader. Mech. Armed politeness. Growth speed. Resistance growth speed in our states occupied by the enemy. And damage garrisons goes down by 25%. Ain't too shabby, I'd say. Hmm. Let's grab some work as needed. I like working as needed. Oh, oh wait. We have funded militias. We get 8% already. Total effective manpower modified at 53% due to Jewel of the Mojave, Omertas, and No Undesirables. Wow. Get some decryption. Let's grab some encryption. Very, very good. So, we have this dude. pre tactics. Not bad. Motor Runner. We didn't choose him for this time. The False Con. Well, that'd be nice, but oh well. More defense. Internal repairs. Alright. And who do we have for Chief of the Army? Aggressive. Unpredictable. And reserve day. Right. So, I didn't. I told you earlier. Oh, yeah. Also, Robco, too. Nice. Very nice. Uh, I have a little special thing here. So, this is the first campaign we're going to play with, in, at least on this channel, for Old World Blues. With the Wild Wasteland rule on. So, like I said, well, this is ahistorical, but I decided to keep put on Wild Wasteland just to see if there are any wacky things that will happen. And maybe to dip my feet into what could happen, because I've, I've never played with Wild Wasteland before. So, we'll see what happens. Mr. New Vegas. Not bad. Sensitive artist, alright. The King, which we'll get eventually. Benny, which we can't get, and Majory would have been nice, but oh well. The king, my friends. The king is the voice and soul of the people of New Vegas. The downtrodden men who lived in the ruins of the place before became a bastion of civilization once again. Frustrated with the mistreatment of his people and distrustful of NCR, the king hopes to create a New Vegas that puts its people first. Oh, in my world blues campaigns, of, as of late, the Phoenix Republic always rises up. But then again, this is on a historical, so maybe that's normal? And actually, we are already down here on... Funded emotions, which is not bad. To your description, it's gonna take a while to get to. Uh, it's kind of wild, but they don't. They just have a generic focus here, which is okay. And it looks like we can spend a little political power because we're investing in New Vegas. Very nice. Yep, just building more civilian factories for now. We actually built them pretty darn quickly. It's already April, and we've already built one. I think maybe, maybe not. I think it looks like we probably already built one. Hmm. No cough here, but a lot of water. God, I drink way too much water. Oh, we've got some organized agriculture. I love it. So, let's see. Potential coup. Well, that ain't good. We can only get 1. Point, oh, 0, 3. Oh, 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 good lord. That's not good. Hmm. Now, we could do this. Building slots. An orange workshop. A civilian workshop. It's always good to come down here. This stuff is usually pretty darn good. Robot brain strategists. I love it. It makes robots super, super ridiculous jeep. Every man a king. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I'll go for some motor fly motorized flight, because I love motorized flight. Yeah, we're going to need way more robots. We're making some guns and support equipment just in case for the future. And after this, yeah, we'll probably go with rallying support against the strep. We get more war support, security on studies, follower integration. Eh, RK again becomes a unit leader, huh? Freeside, Vault 21. The fate of Vault 21. General Victor. Well, I want to go down here as fast as possible to see what happens. Because you can either assassinate House... Or, you can just war for New Vegas, which I kind of don't want to do. I kind of want to just assassinate him. But, for too long, Freeside has been under the thumb of the strip. We need to find allies if we were to bring down a king and put up another. Absolutely. We've got ten days left, not too bad. And, okay, we already built it. Nice. And investing into Vegas. Um, you know what? How about we get Robco, Human Resources. Might as well go ahead and create it. Hurts our civilian factories for a little bit, but whatever. So, really, with we get... Okay, we still have one, two, three. Nice. Very good. And see, production policies, anything unique here? Ooh, New Vegas Clinic. Do we get implants? Oh, does that? Ooh, they get minus 10% research. Or uh, support com company stuff. Um, There's always that one company that does it normally. Silver Rush. Huh, interesting. Cool. Oof. All right. Anything for Chief of Navy? Nope. Anything for Chief of Army or Air Force? Nope. Nope. Anything unique or different? Not really. I never raise or lower my spending for caps. However, when you look at this map mode, New Vegas obviously is a great trade node to have. But I'm probably going to have to end up focusing on Wendover, just because that's probably the closest you know trade node we can get. I don't want to get Shady Sands. I don't want the NCR stuff. I don't want the Legion stuff. So it's either Ranger Citadel or Wendover. So we'll have to wait and see. 17, 14, 67. Gosh darn. It's in a trade route. we got to make some serious money. So we get 52 every quarter, which ain't too bad, actually. 
Let's go and begin a scavenging program because we can. NCR is at war. Oh, good for those guys. Got more manpower now. 8 out of 15. Ain't too shabby. And research will be done within three weeks. Hmm. Secure on strategies, follower integration, Archigenin, General Victor. Well, after this one, this seems all, seems all right. Not really super great. Let's go ahead and do what? West side, infrastructure. A lot of infrastructure. Uh, it's not bad. Multipurpose equipment. Ultra Lux. Oh, let's go with the Ultra Lux. Why not? The Ultra Lux is an establishment of incredible refinement that delicately conceals its operator's more questionable tendencies. There are nine who can contest the idea that it's the classiest place on the strip. That's for the Ultra Lux, of course. But what we will get next, once we get this focus currently done, which will happen in about 15 days, and actually, let's go and choose a new general, since it only costs, or new field marshal, three more command power. And we have PDQ88B Dunkel. Oh, no. He's a bunker kid, which makes sense. Hot-blooded, you get 4% more attack, more defense, more supply consumption, since he's a field marshal, and we're not going to use too much infantry. Maybe we might use it a little bit, but we want tank, because we're using... You know, basically tanks here, so we'll have to grab that one then. And flexible designs. Oh, yes. Oh, oh! Whoa! This is different. I've never seen the Courier 6 here. Level 50. Holy bad words. Holy bad words. Seriously? Whoa! Now, I like we've only, we're only using four mods. I mean, Old World Blues, Old World, Old World Blues Radio, Player Led Peace Conferences, and State Transfer Tool Mod. Other than that, I, I didn't know this guy was in the, in the uh, mod Reno. Cool. And let's go ahead and choose the Ultra Lux. No questionable tendencies are none who can contest the idea that it's the classiest place on the strip. I love it. All right, everyone. Now it's November 23rd, 2275. And right now we're going to go ahead and finish off doing the Tops Focus. The Tops offers a classic Vegas experience with cool, hip, fun, and macho posturing to entice those with a sense of style. This is a place for manly men with a day money charm, and the people that run it are just as ritzy. And there's a few things that have already happened off screen, not too much, not too severe things, but interesting things to say the least. But we're going to grab them kings next. The Greaser gang known as the kings were largely resistant to Mr. House's insistent attempts to reform them into civilized folk. And it was the only divine inspiration that they found within the ruins of a free side establishment that opened their eyes to the glory of the old world. Currently, I've already gone ahead and grabbed the PDQ 88B Robocop. Once you get more automated warfare research speed as well as some daily army XP gains. So we already have 5 army XP. Thank you very much. Additionally, I haven't done too much else here. We have about 46% for the people. But right now we have the Arthurian Arthur Brotherhood of Seal, which I've never seen before. I've heard about, but never heard of before. So we've got this, the new focus. And then we also have the Knights of the Round Table. And the Holy Hand Grenade owns Antioch, huh? The vile and nefarious Republic has met their end. We have struck down or brought the Dragon of the Orient under our banner. The year is at least Anno Domini 2280, which sounds really cool because you get to add mini nukes. Kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. Not a whole lot more focuses, but that's okay. Ah, oh, we have more political power. Not bad, not bad. Uh, Vegas Clinic, that wouldn't be bad to grab. Uh, we, haven't, we usually don't choose that one. Internal repairs, not bad. Motor Runner would not be bad either. Reserved AI, aggressive or unpredictable. I like the max entrenchment and get more hardness for security robots. I like the more solid attack though. Let's see, army leader XP, sensitive artists, eh, beloved Mr. Personality, recruitable population. Eh, if you like to about the caravan ambush, please go right ahead. Nothing I can really do about that. The king, I want to say, I want to get the king. I think I, that's what I want. Wow, we got 8% stability. Also, we do have the followers of the apocalypse here already, so it is what it is. Why do we have so much? Oh, we had the natural, recent natural disaster and consigliere's and potential coup. Oh, man, this is quite costly. I'm not going to lie. Pretty costly. But I want to get the king done because I think that would be great. Rebuilding the west side? Well, we can do that once we get the king. Uh, you know, let's do a follower integration because I want to see what happens. Among the followers, many idealists believe that the future of the wasteland should belong to its people and neither of the regional superpowers. Integrating these individuals into a command structure should allow us to gain an edge technologically and, more importantly... Morally, so quality, uh, more breakthrough, 5% open, more soft attack, hardness, and armor for the entire army. Versus quantity, more defense, less attrition, so you see it goes down, more factory output. Uh, I usually do quality, it's just because it's just, I think it's over better, better just overall. Yeah, I get more factory output, less so you see it a little bit more defense, but I want more attack. I like the attack. We got some resistors, let's grab some smoky signals. And, 
the kings are almost done. Also, we also have Awobowos here, so instead of Ouroboros, it's Awobowos. So, it is what it is. Cool. And, oh wait, we have Nero. Omerta's the Duke, Jessup, Swa Swa Swank. Actually, that's not too bad. Philippe and Pacer. Oh, we have Pacer. Oh, that's cool. We'll probably grab him, but let's go ahead and find the king first. You get more stability, worse for construction speed, which would be actually pretty beneficial for us. Rebuild on the west side. Despite being based on the strip, the kings have had their hearts set on the west side, where the king himself was once worshipped as a legend of rock and roll. In his honor, and in the names of the people living there, they work to make it a better, safer place, and which then we'll go back and do the follow their followers integration thing, thing of a bob there. Nice. That's, that's at least a little bit better for political power. 0.66. Oof. Um, plant cultivation is pretty nice as well. Let's see. Part standardization wouldn't be bad. But let's grab some more local workspaces just because scavengers found something. Oh, naval targeting system. That's going to help us out so much. Doing okay on robots. Not great. Not bad. I'm halfway tempted to just go to war early with the Great Cons. You know what? We'll probably go to war early with the Great Cons. Why? Because we can. Oh, let's see. They have an aggression pack. Nah. Oh, we need more political power. God dang it. Mm, Followers influence, not bad. Warrior scholars, they have unbreakable spirit. Yeah, attacking core territory. Stories of our struggles, con war bands, as well as con culture. Again, god dang it. Oh my goodness, I just want to get more political power so I can fight them up, and beat them up. The good stuff. If you're not beating people up in Hearts of Iron Four, are you really playing Hearts of Iron Four? You know, All right, it's gonna take about five, uh, five more political powers. So it's like ten days. So, we're still building up. Oh, actually, 15. That's, that's actually not too bad. But it is already March 1st, 2276, so not too bad. Let's see. Do we have enough yet? Oh. There we go. Because we might as well just start putting people down. Oh, Occupy Territories? Oh, no, Occupy Territories. Let's go and do this just in case. Nice. And the militia is good enough for now. That's why we want to make enough guns for this. And this will help us get more factories, too. And begin coring more stuff. Uh, let's see. Actually, let's take a look here. Do, do we get any free cores on anything else? Let's see. Skulls and suits. That's for defense. That's for defense. Killer Cologne, which we'll get to later on. Clear the suburbs. Ooh. All right. Interesting. Oh, there goes Mojave Territories and such. Broken steel from Mojave Brother Territory. But we can't go that way, obviously, since we went our way. Free side for free side. All right. So that's it. So we don't get any free cores, which is, you know, okay. Actually, after rebuilding west, west side, uh, secure the north infrastructure and Ruby Hill. It's not bad. I want to do this one. So, yep, this one's definitely the next. We get RK Ganon, and we do get what? Some more five percent more planning speed. Is that really it? Uh, how much money do we have? 183. That's not bad. We can spend a little bit more money. That's not bad. Uh, oh, Bobos. Other than that, Wild Wasteland doesn't seem like there's that much going on here with it. I still need to play as an Ironmonger sometime. Oh, there goes Mojave Chapter. Houston Rockets, they had a unique focus here at one point, but then the devs took it out, which was a big sadness. I should have played as them before they left, took them out, but that was pretty quick when they did that. Unfortunate. Actually, the Carthaginian Gang, I think, just exists here. I hope there's a bigger story with the Carthaginian Gang. I don't understand like who they are or why they are. Who are you, the chef? Huh, they can cook up a lot of stuff, huh? And the Divide. I don't know. I don't think I'm ever going to play as a Divide. Oh, there's Ulysses. Look at that. No need for bombs when hate will do. Are you Yazov? No, you're Isolationist. Yeah, hopefully there's more stuff for the Divide. That seems really cool. Storms of the Divide. Old World Heritage. Scavenger City. Wealthy. They're Ejected Fathers of the Apocalypse. New Schools. Wall Extension. Oh, man. That'd be cool if they could actually hold out. I don't think it's possible to actually win as a Divide. Since you're getting attacked on literally one map. Pretty big front and then behind you as well. Actually, here you need one, two, three divisions at least, and then you need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven divisions over there at least. There's seven tiles. Holy bad words. Hmm. That would be a little bit too difficult to uh, deal with. Uh, Protectrons, we're going to lower it to you to one because you guys are already 20 combo width or 10 combo width, which I want to make you 20 combo width pursuit. God dang it, we lost it. Um. Well, I'll well make you guys 20 combo width. It'll be okay. F well, well, hold on to this. Let's see. There we go. Eventually, I'm going to have a mixed group of light robots and heavy robots. More heavy robots, really, to get 40 combo with going. So, 
Eventually, we'll get there. We'll get there. Not bad. New Vegas, how close are you to? Hey, 82%. That's not too bad. And then... Oh, two days. Fuel refinement. That's a little bit too ahead of time for me. Fuel refinement. Oh, let's get some biplane fighters. Nice. Let's grab some of this. Encoded signals. Very good. Follower integration. Oh, there goes the timekeepers. Nice. And enlist the muggers. 15 days. The muggers are a particularly violent gang of women, many of whom the elderly widows of raiders who were slain out west, who have gained the reputation for being brutal and effective. That reputation could go far in establishing the king as a man who isn't to be underestimated. It spawns one bad booty infantry. Alright, I've never done this one, so we might as well try that. And after that one, Secure Tron Studies, General Victor. Let's get ready to go ahead and uh, do a little uh, fun things with assassination attempts. The secure drones of New Vegas recorded absolutely everything that happens within its walls, and with knowledge like that, you can learn almost anything about anyone. Knowing how to exploit this advantage is going to be key in throwing off the yoke of Monsieur House. Very nice. And two more days. Securetron studies. I love studying Securetrons. Do I really? No, not really. But, oh, so what do we get? We got Pursuit. Again? Seriously? Again? This 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 campaign just wants me to lose all my stability. Mods, muggers. Well, is this really bad booty infantry? I don't know about that, man. I'll be honest. I don't know if this is really bad booty infantry. Like, seriously? It doesn't seem too bad booty to me. But maybe that's just me. Support robots. Yeah, we're going to need to make them a little thicker. And then make sure we got enough infantry, because sometimes you can lose all your robots and that's not really good. Oof, I've been there, done that. So how much longer do we have until these guys are finished? Oh, we got quite a while, and Secure Tron Series, which I've already read. Not bad. Not bad. And here we are, everyone, with 290 caps and doing General Victor. Victor is an oddity from the Wasteland, a semi-independent Secure Tron with a personality unlike any other. Despite largely being a lackey for Mr. House, the removal of a few choice protocols should allow us to win him over using his cowboy sensibilities, which we've been doing in... I think it's time to have a little bit of a fun time with the Great Cons. This might go well, this might not go well. They're a friend of the Legions, huh? That means they're no friend of ours. Let's go ahead and do the best job we possibly can, trying to take out... Oh, wow, look at that. Summer's Federation. Oh, Summer's Federation. Oh, boy. Um, uh, are they not losing organization, huh? Alright. Well, you guys aren't doing too well down here, are you? Well, City Clear, we're on the tribe. Nope, you're not allowed to lose. Oh, uh, they're definitely doing last stand and force attack. Very interesting, great cons, but maybe very quite fitting for them. Shall it be? Shall it be? Let's get out some vacuum tubes, and we got spot standardization. Victor says, howdy! With the assistance of the followers of the apocalypse, the kings were able to capture and disable a Securetron known as Victor. Preventing his personality from jumping was cruel, and after pre preventing the Securetron from releasing him, the followers used the 40 seconds they had to good effect. Victor was cloaked from the network and reprogrammed slightly to remove his loyalty to health instead of making him loyal to the king and his ambitions. You serve the people now. General Victor. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Let's see anything over here? Anything interesting? Nope. Let's keep working on our robotos, shall we? A little bit ahead of time? Well, everything's ahead of time. That sucks. Let's get a little bit more soft attack then. And get our next focus. Now, I don't know how hard this is going to be, but it seems really difficult. But let's just go ahead and assassinate Mr. House. Mr. House is too, far too powerful to fight head-on. Instead, a more cunning method like assassination. Must be employed to avoid bloodshed in the streets. Getting a man inside won't be easy, but who said things like this ever are? Nice. Uh, how much manpower do they have? Because we have more than enough manpower. I'm just worried that we don't have enough uh, divisions. Oh, they got plenty of manpower. Wow. Go ahead and keep doing force defense. We're learning an okay amount. An okay amount. They're probably going to lose... Yeah, oh my gosh. Look at these guys. Hold on. Hold the hold the phone. Strength 55. Let's see. Their organization is 20... Okay, it is still going down. That's good. That is good. Yes, yeah, this is... Uh, I saw an incredibly bloody wall against these folks. These fine folks. Bit of... Better Springs? I love Better Springs this time of year. Eh, go and set up manual prospectors. We got enough money for now, so. And I also upgraded New Vegas just a little bit off screen, too, so. Uh, if you'd like to help out, I'm totally okay with that. These guys have got to have lost a lot of people already, alright? They've got. They're losing a little bit more manpower. We have a limited amount of energy cells, though, so we've got to be wary. Oh, we actually went up there. Second massacre of Bill Springs. Clean up what's left of this mess. No massacre. Fake news. Fake news. Absolutely 100% fake news. Oh, I got another passage. Alright, thank you, Great Cons. No problem. 
Actually, probably should just fight on these guys next, just because they're in our way. And by in our way, I mean I've got nothing else to do with these guys. So we might as well do that. There you go. Very nice. Very, very nice. And I'll see if we can assassinate Monsieur House. And we're halfway done with that already. Nice. Occupy territories. Let's see. Ooh. 3.3, 0.5, not bad, it's slowly going up, 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 0.8, so it'll go up high enough. The resistance target is 37%, 38%. Strength keeps going up, 37, good. Resistance growth is 0.22, wasteland pacification helps it go up a little bit more, but pacification is looking very, very nice. Oh, Mr. House, you're not destined for this world. What a big shame. And the flush is definitely weak, not gonna lie. Woof. Excuse me. Uh, Vegas full of people. Oh, we get more population, more stability, more support. We remove the potential cool. Yes, please. We need more political power, stability, more support. The king has done it. Vegas has won and conquered at last, and now free to chase its destiny. Whether that brings it into conflict with local superpowers, or if it merely enjoys a quiet existence of trade and prosperity, none can deny that it'll be ready for whatever comes its way. Hey, look! The king is here. There's. We don't. Oh, well, man. Um, did we not even get an event saying we got rid of Mr. House? What? That is a, I'm not gonna lie, that's a little disappointing. I'm a little disappointed that we don't get an event, like, we have no, we literally have, like, the Courier, was it, the Courier 6 here? Like, yeah, we have Wolf, the Courier 6. We don't use him to assassinate Mr. House? Oh, why? Why? That seems just like a perfect opportunity to do so. Oh, goes breaking my heart, my achy breaky heart. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, Why? Such a missed opportunity, but hopefully New Vegas will get a, uh, a rework someday in the future. I don't know when. I'm not sure what, what the devs are planning, but actually there's a roadmap out there. So what, whatever they do, I'm sure it'll be probably pretty darn good. So, In addition, so here's my question to you for this campaign. As of late, when I play World Blues, I'll let you guys decide who should be my military high command, who should be my ministers usually, and stuff like that. Also, let you know I've already selected Pacer just because it's, it's point one political power. Might as well grab it. But, who should we grab for the military high command? Subroutine Alpha? Subroutine Gamma? Or Beta? Should we go with Militia Leader Mech? One of these four, obviously since we can't get the False Con, and we can't get Motor Runner, which one of these four should we use? Let me know in the comments below. And whoever wins with the most votes, as well as the most influence on the votes, shall win and be selected in the next episode. Additionally, uh, you know what? I'll let you guys choose this one too. Chief of the Army is... Honestly, we seem a little bit more defensive in this campaign, so we could do unorthodox protocols, offensive protocols, or defensive protocols. Let me know which one of these three generals or these protocols we should use. Let me know in the comments below. So, just because I like including you guys in a lot of the decisions we make, and we're using close air support as well, just because we can. So, we'll leave this up to you guys up here. Ah, screw it, we'll go outside auxiliaries. Because the king welcomes all the people into New Vegas, as long as they obey the laws. As long as they obey the laws. If they don't obey the laws, we don't want them. They're trash. Alright, so we should have enough political power for this as well. I don't think we'll be able to go to war with those other dudes, the sleepers, by the end of this video. But let's grab some primitive radio and fix up our little division here. Vegas for the people, for the people, by the people. Not a bad idea. The needy over the rich. Inspire the hopeless. Ooh, I love political power. So let's grab Inspire the Hopeless. If he can beat a tyrant, if we can beat a tyrant, why can't you? Good point. Let's take a quick look. You know what? Maybe we'll be there by the end of this. And here we are, everyone. May 22nd, 2277. We're doing every man a king. The kings are about an idea, you see. Where every man is free to follow his own path, do his own thing. Where every man is a king in his own right. As described by the king, but it's time for you and me to beat up a few sleepers. Just because, well, we can. Hopefully, we can win the defensive war against these fine, fine folks. But maybe if we have a few planes to help out, we might just do relatively okay. We got a whole eight planes in the air, so... Hopefully we can hold on. I don't know. Oh, this guy's not looking too good. Uh, plan a wall. Not build a wall. Just plan a wall. Ooh, Scandrus found a little doodly doodly. Oh, we have another division made. Nice. We got some refined construction. More armor hardness. And let's grab some combat simulations. Very, very cool. 
and primitive rod will be done very soon. At least we're winning on defense. And we'll take a look at Cal Street's very, very soon up next. Let's grab some public projects because we love public projects, don't we? We have 30% stability. Anything else here interesting? 66, almost 67 caps. Military society. That's all right. Free fighters. Um, anything here? Focus on the internal sphere. No. Season patriotism. No. Dismantle stuff. No, no, no. We're doing asking the followers to help out settlements. Not bad. Oh, please don't start losing here, my son. Security on AI. Please, please, please. He's becoming a hills fighter. And they're going to sell specialists. Maybe I should actually pay attention to the number here. Seven versus six. That's not bad. 600. Every man a kingdom, my friends. Every single man. Let's go ahead and revitalize these places. The needy over the rich. How about we go ahead and do Gamora, where the strips of the casinos are refined. The Gamora's rough around the edges and coal stands in his office. Sleazy SEX for sale on top of the top of the attractions. This is prostitutions. Oh yes. Then booze and drugs and finally gambling, but prostitutions number one. Prostitutions number one. The oldest trade in the book. Or maybe all other books. Another division. Don't mind us. Now, if we got to a little game them a little bit by just kind of hanging out and maybe taking a few of these old dudes away. Actually, let's ruin this and get some light robots. Oh, my goodness. Now we're completely out of robots. Oh, boy. We could and probably should save a little bit of political power. Well, first of all, score more stuff because that would be good. But, oh, we're not making any guns. Yeah, support equipment. I can... We're, it's okay if we don't make a lot of support equipment. That's totally okay. And actually, for these fine, fine folk, oh, they're, they're out of manpower. All right, and the stockpile. This has got plenty of. Ooh, they even have anti tank. That's not ideal. Wow, look at those light, light tank divisions. Oh my goodness, not ideal at all. But let's go ahead and grab what. I think we gotta grab the New Vegas Clinic if we're here. I think that just makes sense. If we don't grab it, then oh, steel soldiers though. Oh, less defense. That hurts us immediately. I don't know. We're gonna grab this one just because we can. I think that's kind of nice. And we currently have outsider battalions as well, so not too bad. We get more manpower, because we can. Um, they keep trying to beat us up, which is fine with me. You guys keep killing yourselves on the line. We keep doing that. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. And they keep attacking. They keep running out of stuff. They're almost out of guns, completely. Oh, they got up to eight. They got a whole total of eight gunnerinos. And I'll have no gunnerinos. Now, if we were to attack, we could probably lose actually quite a bit. But the longer we wait, the more manpower they may get. So let's see what we can do with these fine, fine folks. Now, we could force the attack. Oh, Garrett's Conviction. But that would probably be very, very costly. Oh, Police Protectron's nice. Let's grab some military hardware for slightly more soft stack. Not much more, but slightly more. Oh, man, come on. Can we at least learn some more Secure Train AI? Can we? Can we not? If not, we can always make them, bait them into attacking us a little bit more, 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 more. 59. Oh, we're barely winning. We're winning so little that we're losing a little bit. The Omeritas. A highly organized and daily group of mobsters, Omeritas control the Gamora Casino, a sleazy vice down on the ground, scale and such embodies ruthless exploitation beneath the glitz and glamour of the strips and neon sights. And we can always recycle soldiers in, and by attacking them, they're wasting their stockpile. Even though we're losing stockpiles, well, that's okay. Because we're going straight in, son. Don't let them get their organization back. Uh, resource six, resource six. Let's grab this one. That's nice. That's pretty good stuff. And helps us get more experience, too. Hills Fighter, not bad. You all... Oh, actually, yeah, don't want to forget about these guys. There you go. Well, if you're not going to do that, we might as well push you over here to them. Barely doing any damage. Barely, barely, barely doing any damage. That's right. We're building the wasteland. Not bad. Let's see. Ooh. Not bad. Let's go and build up a few more things around here. 70%. Get some more military factories finally. Alright, so we gotta wait for this. So be it. Let's wait. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna pull out half of these guys and see if we can bait them into attacking us. Maybe, maybe not. Oops. Oh, that attrition is not bueno. Woof! And do they attack us at all? If not, I can always throw another division away. And you guys hold too. But we'll experiment with this a little bit more off screen. In which tomorrow, we'll finish off the sleepers and have a good time. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like. Oh, they started attacking us. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. When we will have these guys, like I said, dusted with. And we're going to continue expanding and trying to get another trade node. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.